like a child again Full wonderful of innocence Before anything got in the way Any dream or any accolade Just to honor you and bring you praise Like a fragrance broken on the floor May my worship be
expected for him to do for you this morning. But we're going to shift into something new. And I don't know if you've been here, if there's a first time. We, we shift into this, this, this moment of, of praise and thanksgiving where we just give an offering to the Lord. As much as devotion in the word is an offering to the Lord and, and a, a, a sign of your affection for your love for him and his love to you. We want to shift and I actually just want to invite you to stand if you also want to come up to the front. It's not that that I'd want you to come and praise the Lord as if we're at a concert. It's that he displayed that he would lean in. He would go out of his way to show his love for you. So in the midst of the world that we're in, it's that we would have this space as a place of safety, as a place of growing as a place of just getting to to just lay our oil at the Lord's feet it's what he did on the cross for us it's by his stripes that we are healed it's by his stripes that we're in this place right now there's generations that have gone before you there's generations that have been praying and and fasting and interceding on behalf of you in this room and those on the live stream so it's by those people by the stripes of Jesus that we get to lay down our lives for him we get to give our lives over as a sacrifice as an offering to the Lord so I want to I want to lean into the word as we step into thanksgiving and praise and it's Psalm 100 that I'll read out it says shout for joy to the Lord all the earth worship the Lord with gladness come before him with joyful songs know that the lord is god it is he who made us it is we we are his we are his people the sheep of his pasture enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise enter his courts with praise give thanks to him and praise his name praise his name for the lord is good and his love endures forever his faithfulness continues through all generations. His faithfulness has continued for thousands of years, for many, many generations unto this day. We praise him for the days in advance. We praise him for the days behind us. I would like to invite you to just look to him today. Look at what he's done on the cross for you. Look at what he's done for you. What has he done for you? Would you lift up a sound of thanksgiving for the Lord today? He was, he had you in mind when he was on the cross. He had us in mind. What a king, what a king that he would have. His intention, his affection, his life would be a sacrifice for you in this room. There's a generation that needs to know that. So in this room, we step into the gap. We lean in and give the Lord thanks for what he's done. So you lift up a prayer, lift up a shout of praise, lift up thanksgiving, to start to acknowledge the places where he's shown up in your life. Start to acknowledge the places where you didn't have enough strength to get up. Start to acknowledge the places where there was no door that you can walk into. There was no door or opportunity that you could make for yourself, but he did. Start to acknowledge those places. Start to acknowledge those places because I guarantee you, as you go through the day today, as you go through the weeks to come, there will be people who need to know how to face, how to find a way, how to find someone, how to find a savior, how to find peace, how to find fulfillment. And it's you in this room who will intercede, who will make a declaration here today that for the rest of your days, you will give thanks, you will give praise, not for only for yourself, but for a generation and generations to come. So would you lean in? Wherever you are, you can sit, you can stand, you can come to the front. Wherever you are in the live stream, would you just take time to just invite the Lord? Would you just thank Him for what He's done right now in this time?
There's only one. 
like for you, if that's singing, if that's laying on your face, if that's dancing around, whatever it looks like to pour an extravagant offering of love on the Holy One this morning, on the beautiful one. on his back get lost in the gaze of him raising from the grave get lost in that get lost in that in those places alone you can get lost for days so today would you just get lost wherever you go as you sit here as you talk amongst your friends would you just get lost in the gaze upon what he's done for you would you be lost in the wonder and the great love that he has for you for you to even be in this room today would you get lost in the splendor that he has for you to be giving your life to him where you can be giving your life to so many other things would you get lost in the amazement of his love for you there's so many things that you could adore him from adore him There's so many ways that he's shown up in your life. There's so many ways that you've seen him show up in people's lives around you. Adore him. It doesn't have to be complicated. Just adore him. When you don't even know what to say, just adore him. Don't worry about how your worship sounds. Don't worry about how your praise sounds. Don't worry about how your tears come out. Don't worry about how the joy comes out. Just adore him. Whatever it is, just lay it down at his feet. Just give it over to him. All you have to give is this time now. Give it to him. All you have is right now in front of you. 
give it to him. Just adore him. So as the band keeps playing, as the worship team just keeps leading out, would you just adore him? Just adore him. We thank you, Jesus, for how you're meeting us in this room. As we adore you for who you are, as we adore you for your great love for us, we just want to say thank you, Jesus. We just want to adore you, God. We just want to display our affection for you and all that you are, Jesus. We couldn't imagine trying to get a grip on who you are and trying to make it simple. God, you're so complex. You're so beyond our imagination. So we just thank you. We adore you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord.
by his blood, he ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made them a kingdom and priests to God, and they shall reign on the earth. As we look to the lamb who was slain, he wasn't just slain for his own good. He wasn't just slain as a declaration for us to just look at it and for us to just sit back and sit in the chairs. It says in response, in attachment to him being slain, that everyone in this room shall reign on the earth. Again, how much more do you need to look past the word of God to know what to adore him for? That in the same breath as him being slain, in the same message of him being slain, it says that we shall reign on the earth. So as the worship team keeps playing, I want you to shift into this atmosphere of continued praise for what he's done for you. But even in the breath of that, we're gonna shift into more praise for what he's doing on the earth. Right now, God is moving in the earth. His message of him being slain, but reigning is moving across the earth. So wherever you are, if you have the strength to stand, then stand. If you want to engage a little bit more, just stand. Just sit wherever you are, whatever you can bear to do. We want to lean into intercession and just adore God for what he's doing in the earth. So I have a couple of prayer points. I have a couple of prayer points. I want to be sensitive to the band because they're swimming in the river of praise and adoration for the Lord but I want to shift into this this posture of intercession because how many of you know that the world around us is moving quick it's moving fast and in that quickness and swiftness there's so many people that experience pain there's so many people that experience these burdens of the world the pains of the world the pains of sin and so right now we have the luxury of being a part of what God is doing as a ministry and sending people to carry out the gospel, to carry out good news to those who've known nothing other but pain and darkness and sickness. So right now, if we can just lean in, we have 20 plus teams in America, in Europe, in Africa, and potentially in some places I don't even know. But that's the goodness of God, that he is moving in this time. So we just want to lift up a prayer of gratitude, not just for ourselves, but for the teams on the road. That as God has been moving on the road, this first prayer point, we want to pray that they be filled with faith. They be filled with uh, peace. They be filled with courage. They be filled with power that God would pour out his presence in this last week of outreach. So would you guys grab a partner or wherever you are, would you just uh, agree with me in prayer to cover these teams with faith, to cover these teams that they be filled with power. So wherever you are, go ahead and just lift out a prayer for the teams on the tour in, in America, in the college campuses, in the high schools, in the prisons, in the, the hidden spaces where God is moving, would you just pray out a prayer of gratitude over this team, that they be filled with gratitude for what God is doing, but also what God is doing for the people that are meeting him for the first time, that are encountering his love for the first time. So we just thank you, Jesus, for all the ways that you're moving, Jesus. We praise you, God, for all the ways that you're meeting students on college campuses and high schools, but we thank you, God, for a, a raising up men and women to go out and preach the gospel, raising up men and women that I say I will give my life for the gospel so that the generations and the generations to come will have hope, they will have peace, they will have faith, they will have hope for the things that are unseen. So we just thank you, Jesus, 
for how you've been meeting every single team and giving them the words of boldness, the words of courage, the words of mercy, their eyes filled with compassion. We thank you that it's your work, God, that these teams are able to move through the nations, move through the city streets, move through the high schools, move through the college campuses. So we just thank you, Jesus. that they would start to take root in the hearts of hardened people, hearts or people that are prodigals. There's people that have grown up in the church all over the world and they've run away from that. They've run away from the simple thing that their lives should be a fragrance or an offering to the Lord. And whatever the reason was, we it doesn't matter. We just wanna pray that these seeds would take root in the prodigal's hearts and that they would come home. So wherever you are, will you pray with a partner? Will you pray by yourself on the live stream in your car? Would you lift out a praise for someone that you know has been running from the Lord? Someone that has a hardened heart. Would you lift out a prayer for those people that the seeds of the gospel would take root in their hearts today? So we just thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord.
the generations to come. Prodigals would come home. Prodigals would come home. Seeds would take root. And the plants would grow by your faithful hand. So we just thank you, Jesus, again. Can you guys just continue on in prayer? There's a generation that needs our prayer, that needs our covering. We just need to be in tune with God's word, that he would grow the seeds. The plants would be watered by his hand. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for all the seeds being planted, all the seeds being planted in the hearts of hardened hearts. There's so many hardened hearts in America. There's so many hardened hearts in the world. So much division, so much angst. God, we just pray that your gospel of peace, your gospel of mercy, your gospel of grace, your gospel of hope would take root in the hearts of many. So we just thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. And as we seal in just our rapid fire prayer points and just the burden of of what's on the road and what's in God's heart, our last point is that we just want to pray for students to take action to leading out on their college campuses in their communities. So would you grab someone and just agree with us that students where seeds are being planted into their heart would take root and God would water them. God would protect them. God would nurture them. Just as we're in the greenhouse now getting water and God is filling us, God is raising us up, God is growing us, would people be surrounded by the same type of community? Would you just pray that out, that people would be protected and covered on college campuses, that people would grow in their high schools, they would be filled with courage and boldness to reach their friends. They would do that, but not only, they would just rest in the truth that their, their, who they are and their identity does not matter. That they'd be willing to give up their reputation as they look to the cross, as they spend time in the word, as they declare his goodness, declare his gospel, that they would not question his, his, his intent, they would not question his goodness, they would not question their own identity but they would just go for it so we just thank you Jesus that there's students out there that are waiting for a gospel messenger but there's students out there that have the understanding of your goodness have the understanding of your gospel and they would just go out living a lifestyle of out of control evangelism would you guys pray that there'd be out of control evangelism on social media in high schools and college campuses almost every single high schooler or this generation of gen z and the generations to come are connected by one thing the 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 social media their phones technology so when they use their technology but when they use their voice they not hide behind technology but they would use their voice to proclaim the gospel so we just thank you jesus thank you lord for all the ways you're going to use this generation Trading.
across the earth. This is all a part of an invitation. Jesus is endlessly inviting us to be a part of what he's doing, inviting us to see his goodness. He just says, come and see, come and see. So I thank you, Jesus, for all the teams on the road that they be filled with faith, filled with power, filled with compassion, filled with empathy. We just thank you, God, for the past months, God, where you've just been pouring out your presence, and for the, the, the days to come, God, we just say, would you pour out your spirit? For those in the room, for those on the live stream, would you pour out your spirit, God? Pour out your spirit, God. Pour out your spirit on those that are open, those that want to see you, God. Would you just be present, God? Show yourself. So as we close out these prayer points, I just want to lean into what God's doing in the room. As we've just been adoring him, I want us to just move across the room. Whatever you have to give to the Lord, give it in this moment. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Don't use this last time in greenhouse as an opportunity to sit back. Don't sit back. Lean into what God is doing. Lean into what he's doing in the room. So we just thank you, Jesus, for all the ways you've been meeting us in the room. We're expecting for the remaining time as we're together here today for you to pour out your presence. So God, would you move? Would you move in the cars on the live stream? Would you move in the households on the live stream? Would you move wherever people are present and yielding to what you're doing here in Greenhouse? So we just thank you, Jesus, in advance for how you're gonna pour out. So God, move.
unconditional love With you Is all I need You're my breath You're my life You're my everything In you Is all You're my breath, you're my life, you're my everything in you is all I need. You're my breath, you're my life, you're my everything in you is all I need. You're my breath, you're my life. You're my everything in you. Keep singing it to him. Is all I need. You're my breath. You're my life. You're my. Will you sing it to him now?
you, Lord, for what you're doing in this room. Thank you for what you're doing in the people's lives on the live stream. We thank you, Jesus. Can you guys just give one? Thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice. Thank you, Jesus. Would you show us a greater revelation? We thank you, Jesus, as we've adored you today, as we poured out, God, our lives to you today. We just thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everyone that's coming to the room today. God, would you meet them? Every person that's tuned in on the live stream, God, would you meet them? Wherever they go, would you meet them, Lord? Would they carry the, 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 just the adoration upon their life? And would people sense the fragrance of adoration on their lives and be drawn in, drawn into the love, drawn into your goodness, Jesus? So we just thank you. We thank you. These moments are not fun. We could just keep going, but we can't. So I just want to thank you guys for coming in here. Everyone on the live stream, we're going to be back here tomorrow night, Thursday, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Coast, my bad. Uh, we're going to be back here at Greenhouse. Tune in to Monday night as well. Everyone in the room, would you just take 10 minutes, get, gather yourselves, or continue praising the Lord because there's more for us today. So we thank you. Praise you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.